Oh, uh, no. Devin Haney gets at George Cambosos. Is that fight going to happen? We're going to talk about that in this video. What up, fight world? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. Listen, I don't know how you found my video, but somehow, somewhere, you made it. Throw a like on the video. 2022, let's run those numbers up. Now, also, use my Amazon storefront. I have an Amazon influencer storefront. If you're looking to make Amazon purchase, you want to see some of the fly gear and tech that I use to make videos and go about my day. Amazon storefront link in the description. Check out the link tree. Let's go. Devin Haney verified page says, yo, George Cambosos, are we making this fight happen or what? I am agreeing to all your terms, whether it's the vaccine or the travel. It's starting to look like some ducking going on. And he tagged Eddie Hearn. So this shows that there's some level of negotiations going on. And at the end of the day, Devin Haney is starting to grow impatient and or wonder if this fight is going on. He's saying, hey, I'm agreeing to all your stuff. George Cambosos, he said, I'm not here for Twitter fights like most of these cats. I'm here for real fights. To be honest, you got to give respect to myself, Tio, and Lomachenko. Out of the one emperor, four kings, and matrix, we stepped up and fought while the others fought on Twitter, just stating the facts. Now you tell me who ducks. So that's Camboso's response. And he says, that's right, bro. Lomachenko is out. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. George Cambosos also says, I love how you manipulate and lie to your fans. Talk a big game, but show no action. A bit like your fights. I'm patiently waiting with all my belts for the offer from your boss, Mr. Eddie Hearn, because I got a stadium ready in Australia, but I can see the excuses already. And then Devin Haney responded, so you want our side to put the money up in your backyard? Okay, no problem. See you soon. And keep those belts safe because they'll be leaving Australia soon. So it already looks like some turmoil. I don't know if this fight will or won't happen. I guess we have to wait and see. But it's it's amazing how this stuff always. That's why I tell you in boxing. I've been in boxing so long where nothing shocks me. Nothing surprises me. And at the end of the day, I don't ever get my hopes up because even when something is seemingly moving in a certain direction there's always politics and things and this is the only unfortunate thing about such a beautiful sport the best sport in the world which is boxing there's no other sport like it a lot of other sports are team sports this is different you know even in golf where it's maybe not a team sport it's not like you're risking your life when you walk on the golf on the golf course this is different so boxing is very unique, but this is why I don't get my hopes up because Devin Haney, Cambosos went to his last fight against Jojo Diaz and George Cambosos was basically saying, oh, Devin had a solid performance, had a good performance. But then now on Twitter, Cambosos is saying, you know, it puts me to sleep like your fights or, or whatever he just said. He says, you talk a big game, but you show no action a bit like your fights yawn. So that's kind of using some things that we've heard saying oh Devin Haney he needs to be more action packed yada 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 um, another issue is Eddie Hearn's been on wax and he done a recent interview and Eddie Hearn said that they were looking to possibly field an offer in the Middle East and then Cambosos is saying come to my backyard of Australia so it's just all politics we'll see what happens again I'm not getting my hopes up I don't know what Cambosos next plan is but he feels the balls in his court Devin Haney's saying, hey, my side's trying to agree to everything that you got going on. And at the end of the day, we'll see what is delivered and what happens. I'm, you know, I'm just going to report the facts, give you guys some of my opinions on, on it. But this is why I don't really get too high or too low. And I got to stay perfectly centered in the middle with these negotiations. And one thing that I've known from experience in the world of boxing, that when the negotiations become really public like this, it usually has a lesser chance of happening. Like if you look at premier boxing champions, I think they are the gold standard because there's not a lot of talk about 
who's doing what and the their bigger fights they just drop it on your lap they just drop it over your head randomly like for example you just wake up and you see boxing reporters and websites saying charlo versus castano is gonna happen in houston or la errol spence is fighting manny pacquiao and then errol spence got injured errol spence is out errol spence forced to withdraw pacquiao's fighting ugas it's, it's not a lot a, a lot of public deliberation and back and forth and he says she said and twitter wars and twitter fingers and that type of back and forth and i think boxing would be a better place because negotiations really shouldn't be served in front of the public you know that's like when you go to a restaurant majority of the restaurants they have a kitchen and in the kitchen behind the scenes they're making that delicious steak you don't need to see how they're cooking the steak and, and then you know you when you if, imagine if every restaurant prepared the food in front of you some people would be like oh take mine off leave mine on a little bit longer instead of just letting the chef chef in the back of the kitchen you you order the food say you want your steak well done and then you have to entrust the chef is going to get it done in the kitchen versus you know some people who are picky if you were cooking everything in front of them they'd be like oh i don't like mine like that oh don't do that everybody would be interjecting with an opinion and that's kind of an analogy when you have negotiations that are so public fighters growing impatient fighters like haney and cambosos they're arguing with each other and then it involves the fans and the fans are going to leave comments and say oh Camboso, you ducking or devin haney's right or devin haney's wrong and it just becomes a mess and then if it doesn't happen some people th that's why it, it's shocking to me some people act like boxing doesn't have the same things and the history repeat itself when negotiations are so public it usually has a harder time of happening and then for some reason fans are bamboozled and they start being vested into these fights and thinking they're going to happen and when it doesn't it's the blame game so i'm not really for that 2022 we're going to set a different trend on my channel so we'll see devin haney cambosos will it happen great undisputed fight should it happen i'll keep you posted drop your thoughts in the comment section and i'm out the future is now the hibernation fives by kanichi bear hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones out of the box you can connect to any console or pc Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym, or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it.